What's happening guys, it's Shane here. So I am gonna be going over the top five technology related degrees, and this is gonna be an updated list from last year's. This is going to be the 2021 version. So in last year's video, and also in a bunch of other videos that I've done on the channel, I went over in great detail the numbers behind why I believe these are where they are, where they rank where they are. In this video, I did change a few things up. There have been a few changes since last year. But overall, I'm not gonna be going over the numbers all that much just because of the fact that I've already done that so many times. You can check out so many other videos on my channel. All you have to do is search technology Shane Hummus on Google or just go to my channel and search technology. There's a bunch of other videos that are related to that. So in this video, I'm basically just gonna be sharing my thoughts. I'm not gonna be going over the numbers and the statistics all that much. But with that being said, right after you gently boop the like button, I'm gonna jump right into it with number five on the list, which is information technology. And also, by the way, I'm only gonna be going over the very common technology degrees. There's some of them that are, you know, like maybe 500 or 1,000 people graduate every year. I'm not gonna be including those on this list. But yeah, information technology, very common degree, very solid choice. When you look at the numbers on this one, great employment numbers, you get paid really well, uh, lots of job opportunity, tons of jobs out there. You can get a job just about anywhere you want to in the country or even all over the world if you want to. The only downside to this one is a lot of the IT jobs out there, you actually don't technically have to get a degree for it. You can get into them with a certification as long as you can prove that you have the required knowledge. But getting a degree doesn't hurt. That's kind of overkill in many cases. And there's gonna be some jobs out there where getting a degree is either required or at the very least, it's gonna help you land the job. So yeah, information technology, very solid one. Number four on the list is going to be computer information systems. Now there are a ton of different ones that are kind of different versions of information systems. You've got like management information systems, Systems, which is more of the business side of things. Computer information systems is kind of like a combination of the business and the information systems, but it's more on the computer side of things, right? So it's a lot more focused on the technology side of a company. Being able to efficiently store, retrieve, and secure information is incredibly important in the new economy. And that's what this one is all about. Uh, computer information systems across the board looking very, very good when it comes to the numbers, and I'm very bullish on it going into the future. Number three on the list is going to be cybersecurity. Now this is one that's very important because of the fact that with the growth in you know companies keeping all of this information that means that in many cases it's people's personal information this is the type of information that can be used to harm people to steal their money and to harm them and we've seen many times where companies have gotten hacked and people's information has gotten leaked sometimes their social security number etc and that can really damage somebody's life on top of that that can also cause the company to get sued and take a huge hit to their brand which is going to result in you know directly millions of dollars of loss and also indirectly millions of dollars of loss as well so yeah companies are starting to realize this and they are investing heavily in cybersecurity. so this is one of those growing skills uh, very good right now and I think it's going to be even better in the future next on the list is going to be information technology management now this is very similar to information technology but it's going to have more of an emphasis on the business and specifically the management side of things so anytime you go into a career whether it's it's nursing or becoming an accountant, you know, something along those lines, uh, even uh, just working in a grocery store, you're going to notice that people who become managers make a lot more than the average person, right? So somebody who is an accountant versus somebody who is a manager of accountants, they're going to make quite a bit more, sometimes 50% more, sometimes 100% more. And same thing goes with information technology. If you are a manager, you're gonna make a lot more money. But along with that comes a lot more responsibility as well. But yeah, super, super solid when it comes to the numbers, information technology management. It's fantastic. Um, and uh, there's lots of job growth out there. Just really everywhere you look, it's really good. Number one on the list is going to be computer science. Now, this is no surprise to people who watch this channel. Uh, learning how to code, probably one of the best skills you can possibly learn. It's one of the few types of skills out there where you can basically leverage the work that either one person does or maybe like a small group of people and put that in front of millions of people. Think about how many skills 
skills out there can you do that with? There's not that many where you can actually, you know, do something like one single person could do something like create a website or some type of software program that millions of people can use. You know, if you become really good at programming, it's almost like having a superpower, like being a wizard. Now this one, you know, statistics are fantastic across the board. It's also the one that I'm most bullish on into the future. And I'd say just technology degrees in general are great because you actually are more likely to work in the tech industry. Now, I've made several videos about which industries you should work in on this channel. And one thing about the technology industry is they tend to treat people really well. There's great benefits packages. They tend to pay people really well. There's also lots to do while you're in the office. You know, they've got like beanie bags everywhere a lot of the time. If you look at all these lists online that show which companies treat their employees the best, which ones have the highest job satisfaction score, you're gonna see that like 50% of them, sometimes even more, are going to be filled with technology companies. And the tech industry in general just has a ton of opportunity, ton of flexibility, et cetera. So yeah, that's my list, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, ring the notification bell, hit the subscribe button, uh, comment down below any thoughts, criticisms, et cetera, that you have on the video, and I will see you next time. Thank you.